Hey everyone, welcome to Coding Simplified and today we'll see a very important interview question that when you should use the abstract classes and when you should use interface, right? And here I assume that you already know about the abstract class and the interface. So I won't go into deep like what are the abstract classes, how to define interfaces, how to define interfaces and then how we create the object of different it, right? So if you don't know about the abstract classes and interface, then I would advise you to please see my previous two tutorial where I have explained about the interfaces and abstract class. Now here I would only tell the difference that what's the difference and when you should use the abstract class and, and when you should use the interface, right? So let's say if you are designing a if you are designing a vehicle system, right? So in vehicle system you have some of the some of the different vehicles. So you have car, you have a ship, you have bike, you have some other vehicle, right? So when you are designing, so you created a so different classes for all, all of them and then you created all the methods that you will use, right? So after defining, uh, after defining the methods, you after, after a while you saw that there are some of the methods which are basically common to all, right? And in fact, the, in fact, the answer is again the same for all. So like if you talk about the hash engine, so like yes, all vehicle will have the engine. Now hash driver, so yes all the vehicles will have a driver and then get country so like like here if i'm thinking that my get country is same right but it can have different so now what is happening so i know that there are some of the answers which would be same for all the vehicles right and there are some of the things which would be different so like speed which will be different for all the vehicles now there would be a sitting capacity which will be different for all the vehicles so like for bike it will be 2 for car it will be 4 to 5 for ship it will be 100 for train it can be 1000 for plane it will be around 200 right so it means there are some of the methods which are different for all of them which means different with their implementation will be different and there are some of the methods which will be common for all of them in fact their answer will be common right so it means in this case if it this case then I would use the abstract class because I know that some because in abstract class what we do we can have the abstract methods as well as the non abstract methods so what I will do I will basically club all the methods which are same for all the all the different classes I will club all of them and I will put them into a class that is my abstract class and then the methods which are different for all of them so I will I will mark them as abstract methods and then all the classes can implement according to them right so in this case i would use abstract classes because i have some of the methods which are common to all or, so, or some of the methods which will be different differently so like in this case what is happening i have this vehicle so i have two methods which are abstract and i have three methods which are common to all so that is why when car or the bike or the ship is implementing these methods so these three methods will be, will be common to all in fact the value will be common to all and this two method will be different for all of them so I have implemented according to my need so like for a speed I have said for car my speed is 80 for ship my speed is 40 for bike my speed is 60 same case for the sitting capacity so for bike my sitting capacity is 2 for ship my sitting capacity is 100 and for my car my sitting capacity is 4 right so now you have seen that when when you will when I will use the abstract class now let's see another difference about the interface that when I will use interface so take the same example of the vehicle now let's say after after designing your different classes you came to conclusion that all the all the classes have the same functions like all the classes have the all the classes have the get speed all the classes have the uh, get sitting capacity and all the classes have the like different thing like get fuel type uh, get fuel type get prices and all the things so they have all the methods all the functions but they are but their implementation is different right for the car my fuel type is different for the ship my fuel type is different for the, for my water pump my fuel type is different it means they have the same thing they have the engine they have the power they have the fuel type they have the prices but all are different all are implemented differently so whenever i have this thing that nothing is common in between them nothing is common and all are implementing differently though they have same functions but all are implementing differently so in this case I will use interface 
right so that's the basic difference in abstract class you had the some of the common functionality so you put them into single class which was abstract class but here nothing is common nothing is common they are differently according to their need right so when you have the different things then you will use the interface and when you will have the some of the common things then you will use the abstract class so that is the main core difference between abstract class and the interface right now see the second difference second difference is that abstract class basic so basically abstract class gen is generally for the uh, related classes so like here it was my abstract class right so here my vehicle so i was talking only about the vehicle that car vehicle ship vehicle or my train vehicle or aeroplane so i am only talking about the vehicles but interface are generally the utility functions they are not related to any single class anyone can implement it like if you take example of the comparator like right? so anyone can implement it right like uh, like comparator like ship can implement comparator or like or like in fact uh, array can implement a comparator or like any class can implement interfaces according to their need like so same thing if you take example of the collections in java collection we have some of the uh, we have some of the interfaces and we have some of the abstract classes right so when you talk about the abstract class then you would see that abstract class has the common methods and all the subclasses are using these methods because they are not defining right so that's the basic difference of the abstract class because all the subclass will need not to define again all the method they will say because the functionality is same so why to why to again define all the classes just make a abstract class and then we'll all will extend this abstract class right but in interface their implementation is different right so the interfaces are kind of utility functions right that is why when i created this uh, engine so like this bike bike is a mechanical this can be engine car is again a vehicle this can ha have engine now i can have engine in water pump as well now water pump is not a vehicle but it's a motor so like motor can have engine right motor or engine uh, or there can be uh, some other thing which can have engine right so interfaces are generally used for the uh, utility functions any class can use it but whenever you want to have the uh, whenever you want to have the abstract class then always create for the uh, similar related classes right so this was the second difference now the third difference is that a class you can basically extend only a single class but you can implement multiple interfaces right so basically the multiple inheritance is not allowed in the java right because let's say if you have two classes now they have the same function so if now if the if it will let's say extend all these if it extend the both uh, so if a class which, which is extending both the classes it means it will be ambiguous it will say that what what function i need to what functions i need to define it right so you cannot extend a class f more than one classes but you can implement multiple interfaces so if you want to achieve the multiple in inheritance then you should use the interface but if you want to if you don't want to use multiple in inheritance then you can extend single class right but that is the last thing the more important thing is the first point and the second point that when you should use the interface and when you should use the abstract classes right so that's it guys about this video and we have seen how to use or uh, like when to use abstract class and when to use interface if you have any doubt please write in the comment section and guys if you have like it then please like the video and subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you